here we go with our 10% rule. I'm going to make sure you guys are able to take any dollar amount or any number and find 10% of it immediately. Two seconds. That's all it's going to take. First thing we have to understand is what do we have 100% of? What's all of our money? In this case, I've given you the number $24. $24 is 100% of our money. What we're going to do is we're going to move the decimal place one place to the left and that's going to create 10% of $24. Moving the decimal one place to the left since we've lost a place value and gone from 100% to 10%, we just lose a place value in the number $24. So the way that looks is 2.4 but we've got to have it in correct notation. Correct notation for money is 2.40. Now we can go a step further. What if we want to find 1%? Well, 1% would taking 10% number and just losing another place value. Or going back to the 100%, if we were going to jump from 100% right to 1%, we would change $24 and we would lose two place values. So what does that look like? It looks like 0.24. And if we're going to keep this in monetary form, we want to make sure that we represent it with a dollar sign and that we have zero dollars. So 10% of $24 is $2.40. 1% is 24 cents. It's that simple. All right, you try. I gave you $180. $180 is all of your money. It's 100% of your money. I want you to find 10% and 1%. Pause the video, give it a shot, and then unpause it, see what I do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the decimal for, to find 10% of $180, one place value to the left. And that gives me the number 18. If I keep this in monetary form, it's going to be a dollar sign in 18.00. To find 1%, I can go back to my original 100% number and move it two place values to the left, or I can go off of 10% and just move it one place value to the left. And that's going to give me a dollar 80. It looks like 1.8, but we, again, we've got to keep it in the form of money. So 1.8 in terms of money is $1.80. Make up any number that you want. You can go ahead and find 10% with no problem. All right, so we're going to get into other percents other than 110 and 1. And what students need to understand is that we can take percentages and add them up to form other percentages. To find 20%, we can take whatever 10% of a number is and add 10% twice. I love using addition when doing this because students can grasp that. To form 3%, we can take 1% of a number and just add it together three times. So 3 1% is the same thing as 3%. Two 10 percent would give us 20%. In order to find 5%, that's the one where I'm a little bit lenient in my rule of just adding. 5% of a number, we could basically just take 10% and cut it in half. So whatever 10% of a number is, if we take that and divide it in half, we would be able to get 5% at that point. All right, so here's your last challenge in this video. I want you to find not only 10% and 1% of $84, but I want you to find 5% and 30%. Give it your best shot, pause the video, unpause it, see what I do. All right. Moving the decimal one place to the left gives me 10%. Moving it two places to the left is going to give me 1%. Hopefully you got the same thing. Now, in order to get 5%, I'm going to cut $8.40 in half. Half of $8 is 4. Half of 40 cents is 20 cents. And then in order to get 30%, I'm going to add up $8.40 three times. Because I know that 30% is equal to 10% plus 10% plus 10%. And the dollar amounts that go with that is $8.40 plus $8.40 plus $8.40. So let's do the change first. 40, 80, $1.20. $8.00, $16.00. Twenty-four dollars. 
So I'm going to add those two together. A dollar plus 24 is $25, and the cents comes along. $25.20.